Hey, what's going on everybody? Brandon Charleston here recording another tutorial. So Clay just announced an integration with Ocean.io, which is super exciting. Uh, the news cannot be said as how big this actually is. Um, and so one of the things I wanted to demonstrate webinar was great very informative and it's great to see the ocean team you know demonstrate some of the use cases and capabilities of that but with this I wanted to take it a little bit further to show just how capable and powerful uh, this integration is you essentially can now create an infinite loop or an infinite Christmas tree really you start at the top of one company and it could really get as far as you, down the rabbit hole as you want. You can have the biggest Christmas tree table of your life. And so I'm going to show you a way, a couple ways that you can start out at and also uh, parse the data in different ways, you know, via different tables and things like that uh, through NAN or even a make.com integration. So that way you can really take your integration uh, and your workflows all the way through and really just uh, you know see the light of day as far as uh, how far you want to go. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, this is basically going to be a quick one-off uh, workflow here, but I the news is great, you know, and I know um, it's all the rage right now, and Clay's doing a lot of big things, so uh, the, the news just must come out. So what you're going to do is uh, you can essentially just start uh, with the table. So you just need to have one company in mind, really, uh, your ideal customer profile, right? So you can just start with... Uh, a look-alike table here and right so you're gonna identify your, uh, your your one company that you want to start with uh, similar that was recorded in the webinar so put all the things that you want to identify and uh, you know go from there and so uh, we won't start with that because that was recorded and I actually uh, created just a manual table here uh, but what I wanted to do is none other than clay is to use this as kind of my squirrel or my guinea pig right so uh, picture this you have I started with one company right and then you essentially want to come up with lookalikes uh, for clay so you have started off with one company and you are going to start off with 10 companies if you start with uh, you know, look alike um, company essentially, right? So, uh, so the theory is the same. You're essentially 10xing uh, each and every row of what you're trying to go after. So, this is just one scenario here, but nonetheless, what I'm doing here is I'm taking one row. Okay, I've identified uh, the company name, the domain, or the company name, the domain. Then you have the LinkedIn profile, and then uh, what they didn't touch on a little bit here, but is actually a really good uh, in-table integration is you just go to Add Enrichment and you go to Ocean.io, and I demonstrated this in a previous video, uh, but this really just kind of ups the ante and ups the bar here so you'll definitely want to make sure your criteria is dialed in because this thing could uh, definitely burn some credits so make sure your credit uh, is up there you know you're basically uh, using one credit for every single uh, lookalike that comes up so if you have one row and that's 10 companies identified that's going to be 10 credits so if you have a large table you can basically 10x that and your credits will uh, go pretty quick if you don't uh, control those so make sure that everything here is exactly how you want it uh, because when you exponentially do that uh, you want to make sure that everything is uh, for what you're looking for right so uh, what I did is um, from here the difference here is when you start with an ocean uh, IO table that's gonna be your source right so it's gonna be the furthest left left column and then you do your workflow as far as scoring you know doing research uh, scraping using clagent all the things right and uh, validating so when you get to the point where you want to do your lookalikes the thing is is uh, you have two options you can take these lookalikes and now you have the option of essentially keeping it within this table because the schema here, all the data points uh, can be added as columns within this table. So for us to actually use these lookalikes and vet those out, you're gonna actually need to send that to another table and have it uh, through an iterator or a split out uh, through what I'm about to show you here, which is usually done through N8N or make.com or even a Zapier. I mean, really, uh, N8N, in my opinion, is probably the best use case here. 
since NAN can be self-hosted, uh, but we'll uh, we'll go into that in another scenario. So you can see here that I have 10 companies, right? And the thing, like I mentioned, is if I want to use uh, any sort of these lookalikes in this workflow, then all I need to do is just, you know, you can essentially add that as a column, right? So I can sit here and lookalike one. And I could essentially use that if I wanted to in a creative workflow to say, hey, you know, you, you know, in, in the copy, you, you seem a lot like whatever. I don't know. You, you essentially are having this as another row uh, within that. And so, but the thing is, is what if you want to take that lookalike and build out another table? Well, what you're going to need to do is do a three node step in N8N or even make.com. And essentially the, the workflow looks just like this. You're going to create a webhook in which this, um, I'm going to do an HTTP API call out. And so I'm going to do a get request uh, because it you know, obviously posts right here. So you're going to essentially do a get request. You're going to copy this URL. And then what I'm going to do is use that as an endpoint. And then uh, in the body, what you need to do is do your open curly brackets, and then you have, in any JSON format, you have your key and then your value. So you're gonna do your key in quotes, which I just named it as results. You can name it whatever you want. But I just named it results in quotes, and put a colon there, and then I just put the whole thing, which you can see here, it says 10 items. So essentially it's gonna send all the data, the entire schema, over to uh, N8N. So once that's done, and if you get a 200 response, that means you're good to go, and you go to the next step. And then what I did is I did what you call a split out in NAN. Now in uh, make.com, it's gonna be an iterator, so you essentially want to, you're gonna get all the companies, right? But what you wanna do is to split those out so that it separates them out. And so we're essentially converting that schema into other rows, into another table. And so. I'm taking the results uh, from here, and then I'm going to uh, send that to another node, which is gonna be an HTTP request. And guess what? This HTTP, HTTP request is gonna be none other than just a simple webhook table. So what you need to do is you're just gonna go into clay.com, and you're going to just create a webhook table. And we'll just open one here real quick maybe all right so I'm gonna create a new table and then all you got to do is just uh, import data from webhook this is gonna set you up with a an endpoint to where you're gonna need to post to it so you're gonna copy this and you can see here it says do a post request so you're gonna copy that and then all you need to do is go and plug that into here. I'm gonna do a post request, and then I'm going to send body. Now in N8N, you're gonna to wanna to parse the body um, and send it just raw JSON, uh, so that way it all flows through. And then essentially, it's just gonna come through, right, the company. I'm ascending just the company, the, the parsed data. And then what you will find here is everything, all the 10 uh, rows have properly uh, aggregated into my, uh, my table here. And so this is where the fun begins. Now, I have two options. I could loop this. I could essentially, these 10 lookalikes, I could 10x right here. So I started with clay. Now I could 10x lookalikes with that. I could 10x these companies, which I just did. And then guess what? I could do another HTTP uh, enrichment here. And I have two options. Now, you're gonna to wanna to do some proper scoring and make sure you're controlling your credits, right? Don't get, don't get out of hand here. It's just like a candy store. So, uh, what I could do is two things. I could either set up another webhook, right? And then send that to, you're gonna to need to duplicate uh, this workflow because this one sends to this particular webhook. So I would duplicate this, work, this three node workflow at N810 and then I could send that to a whole nother table for maybe different scoring, maybe different vetting, uh, maybe you have some different approach you wanna take, uh, or I can just infinite loop uh, back to the very same table here, and then it just continuously goes, right? So essentially this is where you're either your infinite loop of leads, uh, of lookalikes, and then, or you could do essentially your Christmas tree. So what started off with clay.com 
I have 10x here, and now I could do 10x, I can do a table of persist, ample market, find that lead, all these lookalikes, and I could essentially break them down as to as many webhook tables as I want, and then continue that workflow. And you can put them into the same campaign, uh, in instantly or smart leads, or you know however you want to do it. But um, this just goes to show in each and every row that you do, how you can literally 10x your outreach. And so the difference here uh, between the initial start, uh, if you will, or the source, is starting either with a custom table or one company, or if you have one particular like champion customer in mind, uh, or one of your clients has a champion customer where you want to 10x that, start with that, start with an, an ocean.io uh, workflow, 10x that, send that, and if you want to use that in the table, then just continue workflow. But the difference here is being able to do that three node workaround, as I mentioned, to where you can actually use that data even more to continue your workflow uh, by row by row. So uh, super exciting news. Um, you know, I really appreciate uh, all the hard work that the Clay team's been doing. Uh, there's some big news. Apparently, they've been uh, tinkering around, you know, handling that dangling that carrot and so uh but yeah i'm coming at you uh, from the middle east you know hustling tables and things like that um and so uh, happy clay making and uh please like and subscribe take care